Sagittarius, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, March 12th to Sunday, March 18th, 2018. Now before I get started, I just wanted to let you all know that I will be doing a Mercury retrograde webinar, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, March 22nd at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, okay? In that webinar, I will be talking about the most important and impactful days of Mercury retrograde. That of course is going to include the Mercury retrograde period itself. It's also going to include the shadow period, which we're in right now, which happens before Mercury retrograde, and uh, what's gonna happen a few days after, just to kind of give you the context of what's going Going on. I'm also going to talk about how Mercury retrograde this month will affect your sun sign specifically, uh, as well as some of the strengths and challenges of just Mercury to the signs natally as well. Okay, so I'm going to talk about all of those things. And then of course, as with any webinar that I do, you'll get a chance to just ask me questions, ask me anything you want uh, there that we can talk about. All right, so if you're interested in joining, please sign up down below at the link in my description box. And I really hope to see you there. Now, for your horoscope, Sagittarius, what we've got going on this week is the sun on Monday hanging out right here in Pisces in your fourth house of home and family. So you're thinking a lot about your home life, about your family, about how you can build more stability and more security in your life in some way. Also with the fourth house ruling your emotions, thinking a lot about how you can just feel more emotionally comfortable, more emotionally secure in life and how you can start to build something in life that really, really resonates with you in your heart, okay? So I think that's what your focus is the very beginning of this week. Um, on Monday, the sun also making a sextile here with Pluto in your second house of money, confidence, um, uh, and your gifts and skills and talents. So I think as you're starting to think more about your home life in some way, about how you can build something that can last, about how you can feel more comfortable in your life, I think it's starting to give you an opportunity here to start to feel more uh, to start to feel um, like you're really building something that can last, like you're beginning to be more confident. Maybe you've got an opportunity to be more confident in your life this week, to start to feel like maybe you've got the money that it is that you need to support yourself um, and build something that's important to you. Maybe you also feel like you're starting to build your life on something that it is that you're better suited to in some way. Okay, so I just see at the beginning of this week, lots of positive things here for you to finally start to feel just more stable in life than you have lately. To finally feel like you're building something in life that's really meant for you, that's really important to you, that you feel uniquely gifted at, and like you're able to support yourself making money doing those things. All right, I like it. While that's going on, uh, on Monday, we also do have Mars here in your first house, making a trine over here to Uranus in your fifth of happiness of romance, of love and relationships, and also of kids. So as you're starting to, I think, really begin to build a life that you feel more secure in, that you feel like is more meant for you, that you feel more confident in and more comfortable in, I think you're also starting to be happier in some way. Do more of what you love. Do work on a passion project. Find more joy in your life. Maybe there's also a romantic relationship coming in or a child that you're working with or being born or something, okay? And I think there's also a chance I want to say here this week for you to not only to feel more stable and secure, but to feel happier about your life <laughs> and about what's going on and about the thing that you've been working on and trying to build, okay? Um, it could feel a little bit uncomfortable, I want to say, on Tuesday and Wednesday with Mars making a square over to Chiron, okay? Maybe bringing up um, some hurt feelings here um, about your identity as you're trying to build something. Maybe you're worried that you can't be happy. Maybe you're worried that you can never create the life that it is that you want, um, but you really needing to not let those fears get you down because I think especially this week, there's lots of support for you uh, to actually create something that you really like and to call it home and to be okay with it all, even if you have some misgivings or even if you have some fears about whether or not you can do it, whether or not you are up to the task or whether or not things will go in your favor, I think you're gonna be fine. That's because at the same time Mars is making this hard square to Chiron, we do have the sun in your fourth house also making a very pretty trine to Jupiter in your 12th house of your insides and of your spirituality. I think really helping you to find more peace with your life than you have before, to feel like you're starting to feel more comfortable with your life and like you're starting to overcome some things from the past that are holding you back. So even if you're a little bit worried about whether or not you can bring all these parts to your, of your life together, about whether or not you can build something that can last that you really like, um, that will make you happy. I think there is 
yeah, lots of opportunities here for you to start to feel much better about your life, feel more comfortable, settle into your life, uh, create something that really can last and stand the test of time and that you really will enjoy if you just don't let any fears that you have about it get you down, okay? Um, so that's what I see happening there. The only challenge um, I might say that could come in at the, the middle of this week is going to be Venus right here in your fifth house, um, making a square over to Saturn in your second okay on Wednesday um, where maybe as you're trying to be happier in life do more of the things that you like do more of the things that you enjoy maybe you're a little bit worried that the money won't come the money won't follow that it'll be hard for you to feel confident again doing things that make you happy it'll be hard for you to use your gifts and skills and talents in a way that you like moving forward and I think just needing to figure out here how you can sustain this excitement in your life how you can increase the excitement and the happiness Okay, but also begin to go behind building it and making sure it can last. All right, maybe that's the challenge of this week is not only here trusting that your life can be better, that your life can be happy, having faith, okay, but really needing to make sure that as you start to build something and be happy doing it and focusing more on your passions, that you're starting to do the work behind you to make sure that all of this can last and support you uh, in the meantime, okay, and bring the money in and get you to, to where you want to be, all right? Um, so that could be the challenge. Uh, coming in the middle of the week. Then after that, on Saturday, the 17th, we do have a new moon in Pisces right here in your fourth house of home and family. Sorry the chart's getting messy. There's a lot going on this week. Um, and what that new moon can bring up on Saturday, I want to say is a new beginning in regards to home, a new beginning in regards to your family life or what your life is built on in some way. Maybe recently it's been hard for you to um, create a life that it is that you feel really solid and secure and maybe you feel like recently you haven't really had a home or your home life has been in disarray or a lot of things have been up in the air it's been hard for you to put roots down somewhere and I think this new moon here is really gonna help you I want to say I think it's gonna help you to start put roots down or it's gonna start to help you come into new chapters based on maybe some of those problems that you've been having with home and family and to approach them better all right, the new moon being very close to Chiron could in, could inflame some old fears, some old insecurities here about your home. Maybe you're worried you can never build something that you really like that can last, that you can call your own here. Um, but really needing at this new moon to push past these fears, to beat them, I think, once and for all, and to come into new chapters to heal them, to heal any hurt feelings that it is that you have emotionally about yourself, about your life, so that you can begin to move forward creating something that really can can last the test of time and that really can make you feel happy okay and I think if you can overcome some of these fears about your home life so that you can start to build more stability into your life being more confident and comfortable living this life and being happy with it I think some good things can come from it that's because um, on Sunday we do have Mercury and Venus here in your fifth house making a trine over here to the north node in your ninth house of something new really helping you on Sunday to start to be happy doing something you enjoy to find more of the passion in your life for you to be happy exploring doing something new you've been working on traveling adventuring coming in and I think what you're really trying to do this week is before you can start to be happy before you can start to adventure and travel really needing to make sure that your foundation is secure, your foundation is solid, your private matters are taken care of, and that you're making maybe the money that you need and maybe that you're confident as well about your life so that you really can start to step into a new joy, being happier moving forward, all right? I think it's possible for you, Sagittarius, with Saturn leaving, Mars leaving your sign, coming in with your fifth house coming more into focus. I think you've got a chance in the next few weeks to increase your happiness, to do more of what you like and more of what you love. It's just trying to make sure before you do that happy thing that your foundations are taken care of, that you're solid and stable and secure uh, before all the joy and the lightheartedness can start to sink in, okay? Uh, so that's what we've got there. And then the last thing I want to mention on Sunday, Mars as well, moving into Capricorn. 
a good thing. Capricorn, Mars is exalted in Capricorn in your second house, really helping you to make that money, increase your confidence, um, bring more of that stability into your life than it is that you need, okay? If it's been hard for you lately, again with home life, and if it's been hard for you lately to bring money in and to feel more confident in your life, Mars moving into Capricorn, I think while we've got this trying to the North Node, is really gonna help you start to feel like, okay, I am doing this, I am making this happen, I'm getting all my physical needs taken care of so that I can then move forward being happier in a much better way all right I just like it I like it I think it's gonna start to get a lot better for you Sagittarius now your card for the week I love it the lovers upright this is a card I like to think of a few things first of all choices maybe you have to make some choices this week in some way important choices with this being a major arcana card don't be afraid to make them. You need to make the choices. This card also says, make the choices according to your highest values, what you value most. With your second and fourth house coming in, make choices that can bring you long-term stability, long-term success, and not short-term. Okay, that's an important thing with this card. This card, to me, also does indicate relationships, faded relationships, important relationships, people coming into your life this week that can really help you, and I think you need to accept them into your life, include them in so that they can help you do some things that are important to you and just be happier, all right? I like it. I see it being good, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.